Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.2 using the latest Pongu jailbreak application. Now previously, Pongu allowed us to jailbreak iOS 7.1 through iOS 7.1.x, and with the latest update to the application, it now allows us to jailbreak Apple's latest iOS 7.1.2 software. Now this jailbreak process is an untethered process, and it will work for pretty much any device that you currently have. So you first want to go ahead and plug your device into your computer via USB. So grab your lightning cable or your 30 pin connector and connect it into your device on the one end. And then on your computer, go ahead and plug it into one of the USB spots so that the data is synced up to both devices. Next on your computer, you want to go ahead and download and install the Pongu application onto your desktop. I will have all the links in the description below. Your device should be recognized. Mine's an iPhone 5S running iOS 7.1.2. And go ahead and click jailbreak. Now we will have to adjust the system date on our device. So you want to head into your device's settings. Scroll down to general. And then scroll down a little bit more until you hit the date and time. And then you want to go ahead and change out the set automatically to June 2nd. So the date is Monday, June 2nd. The time does not really matter, just the date. And then once you have those settings in place, the process should begin to mount itself onto your device on your computer. So next, it's going to ask you to go ahead and find the Pongu icon on your device. It should be on your second or third page. And then just go ahead and click on it and leave it opened up on your device. Do not close out of it as the jailbreak process will continue once you have that application loaded up on your device. Now, depending on how much data you have on your device, including like movies, um, applications, music, it all depends on how long the process should take. Mine probably took roughly around five minutes, everything said and done. Um, I didn't really have that much stuff on my device since I just updated it and was going from factory settings with just a few applications. But bear with it, it should probably take you around five minutes or so. And then you should see the Pongu logo on your device, and it will reboot a total of two times. And you should see the city icon on your next available page. Go ahead and click on it, and then it will prepare the file system. So just sit back, wait about five minutes after it's prepared everything, and then you can go back and open up Cydia, and you should have a fully functional Cydia running on iOS 7.1.2. Now this jailbreak process is an untethered jailbreak, so you don't have to tether it up with your device, I mean with your computer. If it does die or um, if anything would happen to it, you're fully untethered, so you can roam free from your computer. I'm going to show you at the bottom of Cydia that I currently am running on iOS 7.1.2, and this is Cydia 1.1.12, the English version. So I'm going to go ahead here and install an application type status, one of my favorite just to show you guys that everything is working um, perfectly. So it's going to go ahead and download the necessities to type status. And then at the top of my status bar, you should see Mitch typing via my Mac and that everything is working up to par. So guys, let me know if you have any questions or comments on how to jailbreak your device. I'll be sure to help you guys out in the comment section below. Like always, be sure to give a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.